woke up. Now, since fucking lame ass pussies was compl complaining and bitching and moaning about me, hey, it was just a CGI trailer, man. Hey, at least they come out with some what real trailer, the real gameplay. Well, motherfucker, I guess here this fucking shit go. I haven't seen it yet. I just woke up. This is my live reaction breakdown to this fucking Saints woke bullshit. Uh, like, nigga, like I said, I, I saw the comments before I watched it though. Niggas, look at, look at the dislikes. The dislikes is 600 likes and 700 dislikes, bro. So obviously, they, 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 they still they did some more bullshit. You feel me? People said that the gameplay looks promising. Who gives a fuck? It's not always about the gameplay, number one. Yeah, you can have great gameplay, but if the characters fucking suck, if the fucking story fucking suck, if it don't fit the mold for Saints Row, it fucking sucks. I can give a fuck about the fucking gameplay. That shit can suck my fucking dick, bro. If I'm not interested in the characters, who I'm playing as, who I'm going to be playing as, the people that I'm going to be around doing crimes and whatever fuck we doing this, or fucking each other, or doing our fucking homework in this fucking game, since mostly since these kids are fucking high school teens look, look like it, like college nerds, are going to be doing homework and shit, fucking midterms, bitch. So, yeah, so, so, so I, if I can't get mostly invested into the characters, why should I give a fuck about the gameplay and why should I care? So, let's see, since retards look told, oh, gameplay, gameplay, man. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up, bro, you dumbass. People that, that still, uh, people that still gonna go out and buy this game, you're still fucking retarded. Right, let's see. Oh, oh, no, look, Western, now we, we in the fucking, uh, the West, hee -haw. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we went from still water to some fucking desert shit. Hey, I'm Bryce Charles, and I voice the boss in Saints Row. Why am I standing out here in the desert? Yeah, you, you fucking voice a transvestite, we know. It's because Saints Row is all new. With a brand new location in the American Southwest, with all new characters to discover. Join <sighs> me and the Volition team as we take you on a tour of a whole new world for the Saints. Welcome to Santo Aleso. Walk on the cream. Alright, so let me see. Let me go, let me go back. Welcome to Santo Lisa. So, um, I guess this is a part of the city. Whatever the shit is, okay? Fucking. Uh, I'm not saying the city looks bad, you know, but, you know, still. Oh, I prefer steel water, I'm gonna lie. Oh, uh, so here, here's the geeks that, 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 that bunch of nerds that, that killed the franchise we see. Saints Row franchise has existed and done so many amazing things. Where do you go from there? It's kind of hard to figure out. Fuck this motherfucker right here. Naturally, we looked at Bad all ass. the things that we've done in the past. But the more we did that, the more we started to discover that we we're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the Oh, so you're blocking yourself from what? From, from, from good shit of the past that we actually liked. That was cool. It was about gangsters. Shit like that. What creativity? What, to go complete woke and... What, like a bunch of fucking nerds that they we supposed to care about? What creativity? <laughs> what, it's the same shit from fucking Sessimo 4 and 3, what? Right? Studio. Absolutely ridiculous shit. For to zoom out a little bit, I mean, the goals for this product, it's, it's about making the best Saints Row game we've ever done. <laughs> the best Saints Row game they ever done. <laughs> oh my god. You cracked me up. We weren't really expressing what this game needed to be about. We knew we wanted to get a fresh sort of perspective coming in, and we tried to bring in a lot of new faces. Man, this is the problem right here. Look at these, bro. We should, the characters should not look like the fucking people that's making the game, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's continue. Into it. And that's really helped us with what we've done. And that's when the Fire the whole team. Fire everybody, bro. Fire everybody, bro. S -s delete the game. Start over. Concept really dove in that we need to reboot Saints Row. Nobody asked for a reboot. This is why reboots fucking suck. Like I would just, I would just rather have a fucking remaster, bro. A Saints Row one or two or some shit like that. You know, fucking. No, this is why nobody likes reboots because they fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? 
Nobody asked for this shit, bro. If this is a Saints Row game, it's gotta be open world, right? Of course it is. And all the crazy stuff. It should be badass too, but that's not it. Sandbox action happens out here, in and around the weird, wild desert city of Santo Aleso, the biggest and best Saints Row playground yet. Okay. We're set in the Southwest. That is a big deal for us because it's a whole new bold setting. The Southwest has a majesty. Buttes, the mesas, the color. You're thinking of that red rock. You're thinking of that sandy ground. The iconic sun. Like I'm not saying the city that looks bad. Like I think it looks. I think the city looks cool. You know, overall. But, but I, do I really care? No. The sets, the postcard imagery, rich in culture, rich in diversity and history. Wait, what did you say? The postcard imagery, rich in culture, rich in diversity and history. It's also got an incredible. Y'all added too much diversity to this garbage game. I ain't talking about the city, it's about the characters. Like, like I said, I'm not saying the kids wasn't always diverse back in the day, but at least, at least they looked it cool. Like, at least they looked it cool. Incredible city motto, which is keep Santo strange. Keep it strange fits like a glove. It was practically tailor made for Saints Row. Embrace your weird. It's course, cringe. Embrace your identity and revel in it. I'll find a way to make Saints Row even more cringe. That's crazy, bro. Now we get the heart of our tour. The Saints themselves. Who are these four friends? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to meet them. <laughs> Come together, take a chance oh, on each other, me. and create a criminal empire of their own. Oh, my God. Like, it's just crazy how you just cannot have any sexy ass with fucking dudes in fucking games anymore, bro. You gotta have faggots looking motherfuckers. You gotta have the geeks, the nerds. Because we gotta go full diversity, right? Yeah, we gotta make everybody look like people in real life. Like, like what, what, what is this? What, what is that? Ugly bitches. We've created this. Like, how can anybody get invested in any of these niggas? You got a nigga with his shirt off for no reason. You got a fucking wannabe all brand Kinsey. You got fucking the black James Shaws. You got Steve Urkel, my nigga. How the fuck do we supposed to care about any of these people? The set of characters that you're going to want to invite in your living room. No, these are the type of people that if I was playing Saints Row, I would run over my fucking car, nigga. I would not even, I would not even, okay, I would invite them to my living room and then set it on fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the type of people that Johnny got in the original game would be fucking killing or bullying. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the type of people that I, if I see when I'm riding down my car and I see these motherfuckers walking down the block, I'm going to fucking run their ass the fuck over. You know what I'm saying? I would not want to invite none of these geeks into my fucking house. Room every day. You have the ball. Like, the, the typical wannabe les or lesbian shaved hair girl. No, wow, how typical. That, that never gets tiresome, right? The boss is... Oh, of course she's the boss. Like, I heard these these are the default boss, but you I guess you can make your own character. We've created a set of characters that you're gonna want. The boss yeah, is brash. That's the best part is that the boss. Yeah, that's that's, that's nothing new in these games. They all they all these woke ass motherfuckers do it all the time. Well, there's nothing new. What making a wanna be badass chick, make her a lesbian, shape the side of her hair. Wow, this is so, that's nothing new. You know, sad. <laughs> is you sort of a charismatic murder machine charismatic <laughs> nigga said nigga when the last time bitches will shave hair like this in video games they, like when the last time they was charismatic bro this wasn't back in the day when after you had looking sexy at least if they had shaved hair or a low haircut at least they were sexy and they still was cool right hell look at Laura Croft you know she don't have safe hair but she's a cool like, if people want to call me sexist hell look at Laura Croft badass and cool you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I, I bet she's going to be one of the most boring bitches in this game. Because it, it's, it's, every character that's made like this, you know what I'm saying? Just want to be Brad, tough girl, yeah. they always the most annoying and most fucking boring. Simple as fucking that. And by the look of her appearance, I already took, tell she's boring as fuck. Or he, or uh, whatever that is. Brash. That's the best part is that the boss is you. Sort of a charismatic murder machine. I wouldn't want to play out this thing if it, if it was the last thing on earth. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. Yeah, Her voice already annoys me. Eli. He wants to build something. What? Steve Urkel. <laughs> this, 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 this type of nigga that I'll, be, uh, that I'll be stuffing in lockers in my, like if I was in school again, bro. Like, bro. Something special. Preferred hostile takeovers to open hostilities. 
As an investor, I don't like wasting money. I really like Nina. Her way of thinking. Yeah, right. <laughs> niggas, niggas get robbed for his money on the streets, my nigga. This nigga, you like, you, you got to take these niggas seriously as gangsters, my nigga. These are the type of niggas that, that I will be robbing in real life. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm a fucking gangster. I'm not. You know, I'm just saying if I was, these are the type of niggas I'll be targeting. Is really family oriented, an obsessive gearhead. And just the best getaway driver in the business. And badass. Esto es por ti, mamá. <laughs> badass. <laughs> okay. Shondi was badass. This bitch ain't badass. Oh, Kizzy was more badass than this bitch. Oh, my fucking God. Kevin. He's come to Santa Elisa looking for a place to belong. Kevin. Like, he, like he, they don't even know why he's here. He's shirtless. I don't know why. Nigga just saying he is shirtless. I don't know why. Like, this like this like this like this like y'all went with this face reboot reboot and added all this garbage to it. Y'all don't know why because y'all just doing shit just to just trying to fit in and fit in with modern millennial society. Well, fucking woke society is what it was, bro. Kev wants to be a TV chef. Who cares? Like who cares? Nobody give a fuck if you try to be a chef. Who cares? I want to see badass gangsters. I don't give a fuck about this nigga dream. The fuck. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy with the exposure the idols pay you in. This reset let us add heart in a big way, and that's like the number one thing about this game. 100% Yeah, just delete it. Delete the game and start over, bro. These are the most boring looking individuals I've ever seen in my life. Delete the game and start over, bro. Relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from. I don't want to get where they're coming from. That's the problem. You shouldn't be related to these characters. That's a problem. If you can relate to characters, that's the problem. So I made them watch while I broke their dads. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm not buying this game, bro. I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm not buying it. I'm not interested, bro. I'm not even trying to hate. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even trying to hate on purpose. I'm just literally. This is my reaction, man. I just. I don't care. I really don't. I don't. But who would. All you other niggas can dick suck this fucking game, but get excited for it. You're the reason why they gonna continue to making games like this. The saying. Our bad guys be without the even better. Y'all the reason why game gaming is dead. Better guys, the criminal gangs that rule their own territories in Santo. Yeah, it's supposed to. Oh, I, 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 I can't wait to meet the gangs. They gonna be more. If I, I bet I can take them more seriously than the fucking main characters, bro. So. Stand in between you and control of the city. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of modern games, bro. Like, everybody got to look ugly as hell. Got to have this gay-ass wannabe diversity shit. Forced diversity. Nothing's wrong with diversity. Fine. But at least make the kids look cool. At least make the chicks look hot. At least make the bitches look interesting. At least make them look like gangsters. This is supposed to be Saints Row. About gangsters, bro. And it's not. I don't, I can't, I don't, I can't take these seriously. I can't take these bitches seriously as gangsters, bro. I'm sorry. You're looking to own. What's their deal? Each of the enemy factions approach you from different angles. They look and play distinctly from each other. My name is on the goddamn building! Marshall is an international corporation. They just happen to have their headquarters here in Santo Elisa. They are strategic assassins. They've got high-tech, bleeding-edge technology. Oh, look, more goofy shit. And they're designed to secure and lock you down. In contrast, Pantera's all about muscle and physical power. They're part like I, he, they look more. This, this, this gang right here. In contrast, this, like, Pantera's hold on, all about hold on. muscle. This, this gang right here, he looked more tougher than the main characters, bro. That's crazy, right? And physical. Power. How do rival gangs they're look more tougher? The soul of Santo. I want to play as him. Hey, let me beat him. Hey, can I? Can you have an uh, option that you could like change the gang? Let me beat him. I want to beat him. I don't want to be these gay ass corny main characters. Give me, let me beat them. At least they like a gang, right? They're tough and brutal, and they face. Yeah, that's how they should be tough and brutal, not gay and looking like average fucking Twitter geeks. Keep melee attacks and heavy weapons. Like, let me beat them. Let, let, they look like some tough, kind individuals. Let me beat them. Weaponry to come at you with full force. You're messing with the Panteros, you're messing with strength. They look more. They look. And here go a game that you can't take seriously. You look like jokes. What is this? Then there's the oh, oh, oh no, the emo helmets. Oh, look at this. Look at this shit. Look, look, what I'm that's what I'm talking about, right? The gay ass emo helmets, bro. <laughs> oh my god. The idols. The idols corny. are something corny, bro. Corny. Completely different. I just wanted something like Central One or Two, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just. 
<sighs> All you niggas that play Central Three, nothing. All right, Central Three was fun, but like I said, I'll prefer one and two. This ain't this ain't it. I'm sorry. Self styled anarchists. They see the tired of gay ass emo helmets. Themselves as icons in the new. Tired of this hipster garbage, bro. Everybody look like hipsters. It looks gay. New world order. They're a cult of personality, and what they lack in combat. I could care less about the gameplay. I really, I really can. I really could care less. If I can't care about the characters in the stories, why should I care about the gameplay? I don't care. Sophistication. They make up in numbers, and so they try to swarm. If I can't get invested into what I'm playing, why I care about gameplay? From the play. Uh, hit the trailer here, get over, man. So I'll go out to sleep, bro. Okay, so let's talk about the talented team of creatives at Volition that brought this reboot to life. Uh, the people that helped kill the game even more. Now let's meet them. What are some of the things they're most excited for us to see? Play? Like, they don't care. Like, y'all can see all their Twitter account that they just, they, they, they don't care. They all did not listen to the real fans. Let's just know. Y'all listen to the Twitter geeks. Y'all didn't listen to the real fans. This is what, this is what happens. When this game fucking flops, you'll see what we're talking about. And experience. Just like the last of us too. We'll see what's gonna happen. We are trying to put as much attention to detail as we possibly can. We wanted to create a whole new <laughs> Bruh, like dude, look at this bro. World filled with discovery that each of our players can feel included in. Our character team and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're making your character the way you want to, you're building your criminal empire the way you want to, you're earning money. Like, I'm, I, I, okay, I'm sure the, the character creation really might be cool, in. but our character team that. and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're making you fire the whole staff, bro. I'm sorry. Just like, this, this is why y'all was on the verge of bankruptcy, bro. Back then, bro. Like, y'all is this, this is why GTA, bro. Like, at least GTA haven't really complete gone this route. At least I can say that. Character the way you want to. You're building your criminal empire. Y'all definitely would not never be GTA no more. Y'all would never be better than GTA anymore, bro. I actually thought GTA is too, like Central Central Two was more funner than than GTA fucking Four, but you know that's never gonna happen again. The way you want to, you're earning money the way that you want to. All that together leads to the philosophy. No, I wouldn't even say GTA. I, 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 I wouldn't even say Central Two was funner than GTA Five, in my opinion. I, I even said GTA Five was boring, in my opinion, but it's still a better game and fun game. I, I, I think I like, like I'd rather play GTA Five than this fucking reboot, but this shit looks boring, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. See it being self-made. It is this. It looks boring. Weird combination that I don't see in any other games out there of humor, <sighs> of over the top, and of badass. What, what, what humor? Corny? Y'all say y'all ain't gonna y'all getting rid of all the edgy humor though? What kind of humor? What boring fucking PG humor that nobody care about? Corny shit? Nobody cares, bro. They they the, the joke's not even gonna hit with these corny characters. It's not gonna hit. It's not gonna. It's not, it don't, it's, like I said, it's not safe, bro. Y'all was better off just making a. Uh, put it, slapping ages of mayhem on this shit, bro. Like this ain't a, this is not Saints Row, bro. Y'all should just fucking just made a, a different game. Y'all should just drop the series, bro. It's not Saints Row. Y'all just fucked it up completely more. You know, it was already dead after Saints Row Two. Y'all just fucking put in. Y'all just fucking grab grab got the shovel and added more on dirt on top of the grave. Wanting you to just be in the moment and have that experience, and the experience boring. that we're having is just BS and have fun with it. So that means next. Yeah, have fun with it. Step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to make connections with these people. I can't make. I can't. I can't relate to these fucking fruit lords. I can't. Man, we want this thing to be more than a street gang. Now, nah, now nah, it's more than not. See, now nah, it's, it's not. It's not a street gang anymore, y'all. It's more than a street game now, y'all. Fucking crazy. We want to be an organization, an institution. They're the kinds of choices that I can make and the way that I can play the game. And then most important. Oh, man. What happened to just being, you know, starting out, you know what I'm saying? Starting out, a ga starting out with a gang, beating people ass, get, trying to get your respect, take over the fucking city with a cool story with some cool characters. How is that so hard? Like, how is that hard, bro? Just make it more like one and two. Maybe you can add a little bit of Central Three in there a little bit, but mostly one and two. You can keep some goofy shit in there, but why? Why, why, why is that so hard to, to grasp what people want, bro? Like, why can't these people just listen? Why?
importantly, leveraging the experience of Volition. And I'm so mad because, my, my nigga, this is one of my favorite franchises, bro. I'm saying this shit because I care. I'm not saying it because I just want to hate on the game. I'm saying it because I fucking care. Creativity that we have with trying new things out and then having this. That's a problem. With, that's why. That's the problem. You shouldn't be trying new things out. Trying new things out is not always the fucking answer. It's open world where we can realize that. I think it's made for a really exciting game with Saints Row. Look, I doubt it. Look, born. We started this journey searching for the new Saints, and where we got to is. Yeah, y'all got a bunch of fucking gay fucking Twitter geeks. Congratulations. It was time to tell a new story. Set in no, nobody asked for it. Nobody asked for it. Nobody asked for it. In a whole new city about a group of friends hungry to create a, a new criminal empire all of their own. Like, this, like they, they don't even feel like saints. They don't even have barely any purple on. Like, there's nothing about these people screaming saints. But ultimately, we discovered that the game itself is about being your own boss. Being true. It's corny. I'm done with this shit. It's corny. I'm not buying this shit. Fuck this game. Hope y'all enjoyed the fucking reaction. I'm not buying it. I'm not interested. Sorry. I'm not interested, bro. You, you, you can tell in the comments that the people also isn't interested in this shit, bro. They should not. They should have. They should have, they shouldn't have used the name Central for this. If they reviewed it as another title, it would have been different. <laughs> but now they pretty much slaughtered the franchise. Exactly. They just buried it. You know. I, actually, I did look in the comments before I watched the video, y'all. Forget about rebooting the entire series for a second, and instead reboot these characters first. <laughs> So it's Breaking Bad, but instead of middle-aged man turning into crime to pay for cancer treatment and family future, it's college kids turning to turning to crime to pay for their student loans. It's fucking gay, right? They're saying this bullshit with so much confidence. I swear to God, they, they acting like they really did something, bro. Y'all didn't do shit. Y'all should be embarrassed of of, of y'all selves, bro. Recreate a set of care that you're gonna want to invite into your living room every day. Only if I could put the living room on fire there. On there. <laughs> We want to be more like a street gang. No, no, they're not a street gang. They're not like street gangs to me. Looks good, but the characters doesn't seem to fit Saints Row. This shit looks ass, my nigga. And it doesn't fit Saints Row, bro. I'm down with the city. I'm down to to have a a, a story full of hipsters. <laughs> this is basically Watch Dogs too. Like, I mean, this is basically Watch Dogs. What? Yeah, two. That's gonna be Watch Dogs three. Did Ubisoft make this game? <laughs> I always been a big fan of Sierra, but for, for now, I'm really not feeling this one. Feels like that's yes, I mean either. They just they, they shit in the face of the real fans, bro. Up the OGs, just keep it real, bro. And people that saying, bro, uh, fuck the OGs, crying about it, man. We the one that we the, we was the core fan base, bro. Simple ass fucking that. Without us, it, this game would have never been fucking successful in the fucking first place. So maybe you should fucking listen to your core fan base and not try to please everybody. That's the problem. You can't please everybody. But yeah, I hope that's it, bro. Y'all can see by the comments nobody's happy. Y'all can see, you know, I don't want them in my living room. The point, the, the main point of gangsters, you want the, you, you, you don't want exactly. You don't want gangsters in your living room. You don't want gangsters in your living room, bro. These niggas ain't gangsters, bro. These are fucking corny dweebs. Fuck this game. I'm out, bro.